Continuing our coverage now of Colonial Pipeline, our dependence on the pipeline to deliver the lion's share of our gasoline goes back decades. This is not the first time we've suffered when the fuel wasn't flowing. So why do we depend so much on Colonial for our gas supply? Here's our Y guy to explain. When the oil stops flowing, their problems become our problems. It has happened before, most recently in 2016, when an explosion in Alabama brought Colonial Pipeline's operations to a halt. The result? Dry pumps and higher prices where you could find gasoline. Five years later, a different issue is producing the same headaches for Metro Atlanta drivers. Let's explore why this area is so dependent on Colonial for our fuel supply. The pipeline connects Atlanta to the oil refineries along the Gulf Coast. Plantation Pipeline runs a similar route, but it carries less than a third of the fuel Colonial delivers. The refineries along the Gulf are the closest to our area. Several, once located in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Virginia, are all gone. It was very uneconomical to operate a small refinery in Yorktown, Virginia, to supply the East Coast markets. Without a pipeline, our area must depend on trucks to move fuel from the Gulf. Andy Lipow of Lipow Oil Associates says that's about a 10 to 12 hour haul. So you're simply not going to get that many truckloads from the Texas Gulf Coast to Atlanta on a given day. A single truck will carry about 250 barrels of gasoline. The state of Georgia consumes about 300,000 barrels a day. At one time, Colonial considered running a second pipeline to this area. But what they ran into was environmental opposition from each of the states along the way. Colonial is the giant when it comes to delivering fuel to this area. When the giant falls, it can be hard on drivers here in Metro Atlanta. The nation's largest pipeline, Francesca.